Hey guys, it's Andy Elliott. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about when someone says, I saw a cheaper vehicle down the road. I'm gonna teach you a little close that'll work every time, okay? You'll love it. Check this out. It's gonna help you shut down more deals. All right, guys, in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about a common price objection that a lot of salespeople get confused with. This is gonna be where, I'm just giving you an example. Let's say I've got a 2018 Nissan Altima with 30,000 miles, and then ABC Motors down the road's got a 2018 Nissan Altima with 30,000 miles. Now, both of these cars look the same, and one is a thousand less. So they're looking at your car, they're looking at that car, and they're like, oh, I'm gonna go buy that other vehicle. You need to say, hey, number one, I totally understand. When you left your driveway this morning, were you looking for price or value for the price? Probably value for the price, right? Guys, do you like cheap stuff? I don't like cheap stuff. So guys, I don't wanna talk about cheap stuff. I can't speak for ABC Motors. All I can do is speak for me and my company and my store. I wanna tell you this. There's a difference between a purchase price and an ownership price. Do you know the difference? And at this time, you write it down on a piece of paper. You, the purchase price is a one-time spend. It's the price you're gonna pay for the car today. So if you're to buy my car today, it's gonna to be a thousand more than ABC Motors cars. But the ownership price of the car is how much the car is actually going to cost you over the next couple of years. Now, if I've serviced my car and I've given it a 120 point service inspection and one to 10, I make it like an 11 and it's like new for you and your family and you spend a thousand more today, well then today you spend a thousand more. But with ABC ABC Motors, if they don't recondition the vehicle to be like new for you and your family and they don't make it perfect, guess what happens? They can sell it cheaper because they didn't spend any money on it in service. Now guess what? The next two, three years, because the car wasn't treated to be like new for you and your family and it wasn't serviced to be like new, guess who ends up paying all the money to make the car perfect? Over the next two or three years, it's you. Because it wasn't serviced to be like new today, two or three grand more spent over the next couple of years, well, a thousand less today, but three grand more later, really that car ended up costing more money in the end. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor, I'm gonna tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. So the difference between the purchase price, which is a one-time spend, and the ownership price, which is a lifetime spend, are two, com two completely different prices. At the end of the day, if money's your really concern, isn't the purchase price the most important number and the ownership price? Guys, if you're looking for a store, you're looking for a company, and I can't speak for other people, that even though these are pre-owned cars, but they make them like new for you and your family, this is the car you wanna go with. I promise you it's the best deal in the country. And lastly, you get me. And I'm gonna ask a question, sir. If your wife was stuck, stranded, broke down on the side of the road, and let's say you're out of town and she called me and she had a flat tire, ask me if I'd drop everything I'm doing right now to go help her, ask me. Yes, I would, absolutely. Isn't that the kind of service you're looking for in your life? So not only are you getting a great deal, but you're finding somebody to get a great deal with that also take care of you and your family, guys. Let's wrap this up. That's it. By the way, watch this video 15 times. Share this video with somebody who's in sales so that way they understand how to handle this as well. I know 10 different ways to handle pricing, okay? But this is one of the most common ways for you to handle it right out the gate. And by the way, you can't speak for another vehicle. They may seem the same, same, but you can memorize this word track. And by the way, say it with confidence. Say it with love. Say it with believability. And then go in and put their hand in their check chest and shake their hand. And I promise you they're going to pass go and do business with you, okay? If you guys want to become one of the best clothes in the country you're going to need to train every day like Kobe Bryant master basketball you're gonna to have to master sales closing influencing and negotiating okay I've got a platform and a program called project 500 which will teach you how to make a half a million a year minimum in any sales industry shoot me a text 918-210-0254 text me your name and say Andy I would like some information on project 500 I'll send it over your way let's go Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.